you can see it, you can look at it, and I don't think any of you will think it is anything other than art, and we want it to stay up. And it is our opinion that this fight has to do with whether or not Mobile is going to be an art town, or whether it's not going to be an art town. My name is Rick Barfield. I'm one of the owners of The Blind Mule. Uh, it's a restaurant and bar located in downtown Mobile. Mobile has been blessed to have a local artist that goes by the name of Priest, who is what many people call a graffiti uh, hoodlum, but who we call an artist because his artwork is something that we admire and uh, enjoy very much. And we recently commissioned a piece to be uh, put on the side of our building. Um, and that is the piece behind me, which uh, I like very much. And uh, which many people in uh, Mobile apparently like. Since, since it's been up, we've had uh, uh, well over 100 people come by to uh, take pictures of it and to admire it and to enjoy it. The downtown uh, bid, uh, the Business Improvement District, the Downtown Mobile Alliance, came by and asked if we wanted it painted over. And we told them, no, we don't. We like it and we want it to stay up. And um, they are now trying to have it painted without our permission. Hey, my name is Zach DiPolo and I uh, work down here at the Blind Mule. And um, been curating art here for about four years now. We've had over 200 artists in the last four years. We've had in the thousands of art pieces come through here. Um, we have everybody from Bruce Larson behind me to uh, Simeon Cox to Walter Simon. And we've recently asked Priest, a local graffiti artist, to do a mural on our wall outside. I've been a fan of his for the last year. I've been watching his work. Smart, smart artwork is what I call it. He's into current events. He's into um, making statements and messages about policies in the city. He's been bringing some messages across in a unique way. And so we asked him this month that we're getting the Mobile Arts Council Business Art Award to create something for us and for the city. A wall that he can paint on and it's not going to be removed. So we asked him to come up with a message that fits into that and he came up with the image outside that you've seen. And some people look at the word hate and immediately see something that he did not intend. And a lot of others see the irony in it. He's not talking about hating people, he's talking about not hating people not hating art, not hating, you know, free expression and positive messages. Um, so we just would really appreciate it if you would let us keep this. We asked him to do it. I guess the basic reason why that I started the petition was one that, you know, Rick and the owners of the bar, you know, essentially solicited the piece to be shown here. You know, the, the guys offering relevant local commentary in terms of politics, any kind of social things that are going on. He's doing something different that's relevant to our community. You know, the people that are down here that are concerned about what's going on. He's doing something that, you know, voices our opinion. Graffiti has always been a conduit of the people. You know, that, that's what it's all about. It's, it's their voice, but a lot of people don't have the means, they don't have the gall, they don't, you know, they don't want to get out there and risk, you know, themselves going to jail, getting fined, whatever. They don't want to get out there and do that thing, and there are certain people who have that, that don't care about the consequences, that want to get out there and share the concerns of the people. and. You know, it benefits everybody. I mean, you've got people traveling all over the world who are going to see Banksy's pieces. They're going to see, you know, 
like Lerat, you know, these people who are forefathers of the same style that Priest does. And these guys are shown in galleries, they're shown all over the world. I mean, they're, you know, rock stars of the art world, essentially, you know, and, and we're, we're trying to cut that off. We're trying to, you know, blacklist ourselves from this community, whereas we could, you know, we could really put ourselves on the map in terms of a city. With the, the Banksy thing in particular, like when you're going to New Orleans and, you know, they're trying to recover from the Katrina thing and, you know, when you're coming off the on-ramp into the main part of, you know, essentially the French Quarter, the what New Orleans is known for, when you're coming off the on-ramp, there's a Banksy piece right there in your face and, you know, with that being there, you're overlooking the fact that, you know, it's a derelict area and you're looking at, you know, Right away, there was this international artist that's got a piece here. He took the time to come down here and visit the city and really do something that, you know, I think in his mind, he knew that if he put a piece down here, it will get all over the map, you know, and help the city out. And I think that, to me, what, what his goal was, other than, you know, his, you know, direct social commentary with the Lincoln piece. And I think that's what Priest is doing. I think the fact that, you know, Rick and Bark, the guys that own the place, you know, they took a risk and asked this guy to come out and put something up there that was, you know, it's going to cause a stir, that's going to get people, you know, fired up and, you know, the fact that they took that upon themselves and, you know, took that risk says a lot about them, it says a lot about the community, it says a lot about the patrons that come here and they support all of this. And, you know, because of that, I think the piece should stay. This music, I've seen your vibrations, tasted the colors that constructed this configuration, similar to the work of a Bob Ross painting, happy trees and some mountains with the sun breaking, onto a lake, now it turns a little Alice Gray, crystal visions of another realm engaged with Salvador Dali, cause time's slipping when I measure natural occurring geometrics like Escher, this is my pleasure, got to learn to reflect, drop out, tune in, go ahead, disconnect. Strange Wish I could let you watch it Download it from my brain like I was Johnny Mnemonic Put it on photo bucket Let my space be your space Maybe I'll photoshop my face on your face Pictures in my mind Got these pictures in my mind Pictures in my mind Got these pictures